in the shop today we have a Tales from the Crypt um, and it's an interesting machine because the play field is really good um, it's here because it doesn't want to switch on and um, I've since got it to switch on but the, the display is still down so that could be power supply or display one of the two um, it's interesting because the cabinet was so poorly done and it, this machine should actually go under um, a series called what not to buy even though on this one the play field is fine so you know this I would happily buy a machine like this but I wouldn't pay top dollar for it because <laughs> on this side we have we have a decal we have a vinyl sticker which is already worn off and crinkling around the legs and it's low res so it looks like it's been grabbed from one of these um, uh, emulation sites and then printed for real you don't have the on this side we have the original paint job except for the blue that's been redone now the blue that's been redone you can see where it's a different blue on the chipped bits that on than on the original bits and over here you can see lots of paint missing so it's not bad but you can see it's been redone and on the front you can also see it's been redone blue has been redone perfectly except for this line of snot or coffee or something that's gone down there so this is the kind of thing you should look out for when you buy a machine is that sort of irregularity in the paintwork which which means that some idiot has been over this with a with a, with a brush and uh, probably his primary school kids brush <laughs> but okay just if you find a machine like this by all means buy it if it works don't worry about buying a machine like this but don't you know argue argue for some discounts I mean look at the inside of this cabinet this 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 is just an indication of what the outside could have looked like before this hack job of a restoration well anyway and then the guys were so proud of what they did they took their business card and hot glued it to your, the apron fortunately hot glue comes off easy couple of business cards on the inside as well um, so here we have this kind of thing so these are the original wires and these are wires from a much older machine I can't believe they've got this in here that's the kind of connector I normally use so someone someone has picked up on on that but I don't use um, I don't use tape because it gets gooey and it unwraps I use heat shrink, so this is, yeah, I cringe when I see this, look at this, it's horrible, but okay, it, it worked at some point, and now it's stopped, and now it's my job to get it back going, I thought this was rust, if you look at, <laughs> if you look at that, it looks like rust, but it's not, it's, it's actually primer, it's some kind of paint, because it's over here as well, you can see it there, it's crazy, I don't see evidence of it anywhere else, so it, oh yeah, um, the, <laughs> coin batteries, is that just taking the piss, or, <laughs> what is that, it's a coin on a coin battery, good one, good one, man, okay, the original battery holder is there, and that's probably been, um, corroded, so, you know, it's, to replace it with something like this is actually not a bad idea, these are, uh, if it's a lithium battery, it's three volt, and what you really need is four and a half. So you could stack two of them on top of each other. I don't know how safe that is for the rest of the machine, but that's not a bad idea. But not executed like that, okay? So <laughs> I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to rip that out and just put a, an external battery holder and dangle it in the corner there where it's, well, what you should do is dangle it somewhere where if it starts dripping, it's not dripping on any of this, so preferably in the corner down there. We'll see. Might not be, no, might not be necessary. Anyway, so um, we have some issues here. Uh, definitely on this connector we have an issue. Whether it's on the connector itself or the electronics leading to that, 
is another story because this feeds the display. This harness here feeds the display and I've checked on that connector there's the voltages on there are all dead. So with a bit of luck it's the power supply and not the display and we can we can sort it out there's more sorry for jumping around like this you must be getting seasick but there's more paint on the relay there. This reminds me such a lot of the Williams System 11 boards it's a data east, it's an early data east, so I won't be surprised if they borrowed from that. Don't blame them, it's a good system. And data east did innovative stuff in their own right. I have a lot of respect for the data east guys, because I own a data east, and I own one of their very, very early ones called the Laser War, and I love it. And you can't have it. <laughs> it's a man's game. It's unforgiving, it gives you like a good game once, one every every 20th game or so it's like really good to play <laughs> but it's good so data east like them i really like them kudos to kamen kamenkov or kamen ko or how do you i don't know how you pronounce his name but kudos to those guys they did a great job the company that eventually became stern as we know today is data east Cha-ching! lacquer man lacquer so except for the funnies on the cabinet, this machine is this machine is a is a good one to get. I'm not doing this because it's for sale, I'm just doing this because when you do buy a machine like this, watch out for the nonsense. Open it up, have a look inside, and also Oh, this could be nauseating, but let's just get that done. Lift the player field up. Sorry. So that's the playfield. You can see that that rail that the playfield runs on is loose. So we'll put new bolts in there just to tighten that up. You can see the playfield is all skew. Check the blue. They didn't even bother taking the playfield out when they painted the cabinet. You know what? 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 If you're going to use cable ties, cut the ends off. Um, <laughs> if you're going to quickly jippo some connectors. You know, replace the crocodile clips with the real thing. Um, there's another one. Woohoo! This machine is just so full of surprises. No wonder the fuses were blown. Alrighty then. Okay, and the prop stick is just nowhere to be found. Don't know if it... It must have had a prop stick. The prop stick is not here. We had to dig out an allen key from somewhere. 8mm will undo the back box. I think it's 3 eighths of an inch, not too sure. But anyway, so we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna make this box a happy box again. Just get rid of the nonsense, service it properly, and then hot glue my own business card into the play field. Fuck. Okay. It's enough for ranting for today. Um, I'll keep you posted sort of on this one. It's going to take a while. I'm a bit busy on other projects, but it's here and we know what's wrong with it. So we can schedule it for surgery soon. Tales from the Crypt. Thanks for watching.